Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at Object Studio and how we can get a part processed in printing on our Object 3D printer. The first step is to come in and insert an STL file. In this dialog box, we've got the ability to choose between inches or millimeters, or maybe even go as far as uh, changing the number of copies we want to start off with. We'll go ahead and insert this STL file in. And then one of the first things we're going to do is to come in and choose whether we want to print this with a matte or gloss finish. A matte finish will cover the entire part with support material and give a uniform uh, finish. Uh, the gloss is going to leave any top exposed surface nice and shiny. With this part being such odd shaped, uh, we may not be able to come in and select on the part and go to the transform button real easily and rotate it by a specific angle. Maybe we want to rotate it about the, um, the x-axis, you know, 45 degrees and apply. Uh, that, that may be a little bit difficult to get oriented the way we want to. We do have the ability to go into the plane selection mode and come in and select on a face and maybe say we want to align that to the bottom. The other thing though is that Object Studio will allow us to do an automatic placement. If we want to keep this orientation we're going to need to come in and get out of plane selection mode, go back into the part and lock the orientation. Because if we do an automatic placement, it's going to come in and try to find the, the optimal orientation for this part to print with. So once we have the plate placement succeeded, we're going to come in and, and do a validation. Once that's succeeded, uh, we can do an estimate to see what uh, build time might be. It's going to be 21 grams of Vero white, 34 grams of support, and a little over three hours. If we're happy with that, we can come in and hit the build uh, button and that's going to send it off to the printer and we can switch over to the machine and get things going from there. Another couple things we can do, we can always copy and paste additional copies into the part or change the scale up or down uh, before we get printing. So this was Tony Riggs with Go Engineer and I hope you saw some interesting basics for running Object Studio. Mm -hmm.